Some people just broadcast their pain and some people bury their pain. And the real challenge is to, to heal it. And that healing comes through journaling, sharing, articulating, explaining, and that, that takes time. So say your name, what you're grateful for, and the direct question you have for Jay. So my name is, my name is Terrell Jones. Uh, I'm grateful just to be able to impact people as a, as a speaker and a coach in the world. And one of the things that you said, Jay, um, we, we uh, spoke a little bit yesterday. One of the things that you said today that was impactful was you can't, you can't be everything, right? You can't be you, anything you want. You can be everything you are. You can be everything you are, but you can't be anything you want. So my question is, how do you figure out what you are? And how do you know if you're trying to be like something else that you're not? Two processes. One is personal excavation. The more you observe yourself in different situations, the more you observe yourself when you're around certain people, the more you observe yourself when you're experimenting and testing and trying new things out, the more you get a sense for how you feel about it versus how someone feels that you feel about it. And that's our constant disconnect. We're validating or verifying everyone through, oh, how, even a small question like, how do I look in this? We're letting someone else's opinion define how we feel about ourselves, even if we feel totally uncomfortable. So we only get to that point when we start observing ourselves and testing and experimenting with multiple things so that you can see yourself in different scenarios and different situations. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you, man. Thank you so much. Right here in the middle. Go ahead and stand up. Yep. We got a mic coming to you. Name what you're grateful for and your direct question. Hi, I'm Vivi. I'm grateful for being here. I'm from Germany, but I live in Las Vegas now. Okay, cool. Um, I wanted to know how do you help people with ADD being in the, in the moment, focus on what they want to do and just, you know, get forward and not getting distracted all the time? Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the biggest challenges with change is too much pressure, especially when someone has other challenges that affect the challenge of distraction. And I would look at small incremental changes. Small changes, but a big priority in their life. The challenge I find is that too many of us are trying to change too many things all at the same time. It's like we want to wake up early and start going to the gym and eat right all in the same week. It's impossible. Right? It's impossible. It's impossible. Like no one can do that. Right? I've tried. Yeah. yeah, I've tried too and it kills you. Like it breaks you. Like no one can do that. So what did you say before that? So I'm saying small step big priority. Try and change one small thing, but make it the biggest priority of the week. What we do, we try and make big steps and make them all small priorities. Oh. And so we want to shift that, right? Shift it the other way around. So help that person find a small little baby step that they can take, but help them focus just on that. If you see a child, a child doesn't start learning how to eat proper food and walk at the same time. The like children have moments in their life where certain things start evolving for them. That's how we're built. That's how we're wired. So allowing that to happen continuously, mm. even when we grow older, makes it easier for that person as well. Is there something you've tried to change that you've, that's worked for you in the last year that you've done this yeah, with? Yeah, so my, my health was a big thing for me this uh -huh. year because as a monk, you literally go to the edge. Like I've tested my body to every one of its limits. And when I did that, I, I broke parts of my body that needed to be healed. And this year, one of my biggest focuses was my health. So I made that my top priority in my yeah. personal life, not in my professional goals, but my personal goals. And that included getting a personal trainer, included getting a healer, included getting people to work with me who are experts. But it became a big priority and a small step. So I wasn't trying to change my eating habits and my health habits. It was just me taking care of my mm. exercise and physical body. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, one up top, one final one up top. Uh, yes, the lady waving your, okay, over to the right, here we go. Yep, what's your name? Where are you my from? Name is, my name is Tim Finn. Tim Finn. I'm from Akron, Ohio. I'm grateful for choice. I'm grateful for, we have the free will. We're all here and we can change what we want to change. My question is, and you kind of just hit on it, um, I'm someone who, I have a lot of stories, but I, my coping mechanism from the past to today was always bury it. Turn around, go the other way, work, deal with it, bury it. 
You stated that you shared those last these stories for us particularly, but you also just commented and said that you have a healer. My question is, is I've buried these stories for so long, lately they're starting to resurface. I'm starting to remember them and I feel them. I feel the pain that I pushed away. What's your advice or your takeaway for anyone here that's struggling with something of the past that we dealt with maybe as a kid or from 10 years old, 11 years old, it's not as easy as changing your story. Yes, we can change our story and aim to change our mindset, but what are some tips or tricks or advice that you have for that? Yeah, beautiful. I, I talk a lot about how after I finished being a monk for three years, a lot of my memory prior to that was wiped out. Really? So I actually would sit down with a friend from like 16 years old and they'd be like, Jay, do you remember we did this? And I'd be like, oh yeah, but it would take me a moment. Why do you think that is? I feel like there's so much cleansing happening. Mm. There's so much cleansing and my experience of that cleansing was slight loss of memory. Uh, but not, not, like le not legitimately losing memory, just seeing something drift into the past because it's been dealt with. So it goes into the back of your mind. So that healing and cleansing. So I really believe in journaling is a great cleansing process. I think being able to journal, write, just get it out on a piece of paper, being able to move away from being in our heads and being able to learn to articulate things well. There's a beautiful statement by Einstein where he said, if you can't explain something simply, you don't understand it well enough. And so if you can't explain what you went through simply, you don't understand it well enough. Mm. It's a brilliant test to know whether you've healed or cleansed. So keep articulating yourself to people who care, to a healer, to the page, with a pen, whatever it takes to continue that cleansing process so that you can get to a point where you can explain how you went through, what you went through, and it's effortless, it's simple, it's easy. So I think healing is what we need, not burying, and not broadcasting, but healing. And healing kind of ex exists between the two. Some people just broadcast their pain, and some people bury their pain. And the real challenge is to, to heal it, and that healing comes through journaling, sharing, articulating, explaining, and that, that takes time. Mm. You need patience. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for that. Thank you, bro. Thank you for your question. We want to uh, stay on time with the, the schedule today, so, that's all we have for the questions, but Jay will be here, I think, doing some, some photo opportunity yeah. uh, during the greet. lunch break, meet yeah. and greet. So if you guys want to connect with him, uh, one of the most inspiring people that I know, again, his videos. How many of you guys have watched one of his videos online before? Yeah. He's helped me a lot with uh, a lot of my videos as well. Just a really brilliant guy, the biggest heart that I know. So I acknowledge you for all that you do, Jay, and uh, we acknowledge you. So give it up one more time for Jay Shetty. Love you, bro. Love you, man. Love you, man. Thank you so much.